So question number 2.1. There are two subdivisions. The first division is calculate the number of electrons which will together weigh 1 gram. So let's first solve this question. So for this we will write here for the first question mass of an electron equals 9.1 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram now that is a standard value we should be knowing it now here when it says mass of an electron is this much that means one electron weighs 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram therefore one gram weighs how much so here we can't write this in terms of gram because our answer is in kg so we need to convert it so here we write that 1 kg is 1000 grams therefore x number of kg is equal to 1 gram so we need to find out how much is it for 1 gram so just a unitary method which means this will be 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg now this we'll have to write here we need to find how many electrons it says here clearly so x electrons weighs 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram our basic unitary method we need to solve so here x is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram divided by 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram into 1 electron. When we cross multiply, 1 electron will be here. So basically, 10 to the power minus 3 into 1 and this will be multiplied with this so here this is going to be our calculation kg and kg will get cancelled so here x is equal to 0 0.1098 into 10 to the power 28 electrons or i can tell by shifting a decimal over here this will be 1098 into 10 to the power 27 electrons just a simple answer to this question now the second question is calculate the mass and the charge of one mole of an electron so here first thing is we need to see that when we're saying one mole of an electron what is one mole we need to say that so for the second one one mole is equal to Avogadro number of electrons so 10 to the power 23 now since it clearly says mass of an electron so here we will have to write mass of an electron is equal to 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram this was the same value we just saw here now they are clearly saying mass of one mole of an electron so here therefore mass of one mole of electron equals this number into the Avogadro's number so 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg into 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 now when we multiply this we will get 54.198 into 10 to the power minus 8 kg now this will be 5.4 because we're trying to shift the decimal 5.4198 10 to the power minus 7 kg so this is the mass of one mole of electron now we haven't yet finished it we need to find out what is a charge what is a charge on one mole of electron so for this 
you need to know what is the charge of an electron we've studied in the chapter also that charge of one electron is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb now we need to find what is the charge of one mole of an electron so we can write that charge of one mole of electron equals charge into Avogadro's number same like how we did for mass so this will be 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into Avogadro's number 6.022 10 to the power 23 this will be 9.6352 into 10 to the power 4 coulomb now this is the charge and this is the mass for the part 2 question of that entire question given so this is how you calculate the mass and the charge by knowing their standard values